first to tickle the taste buds is dessert. Avocado and chocolate mousse with blackberry coolie. Avocado and chocolate? I, I'm not sure you would even keep them in the same place in the fridge, let alone in the same pudding. Brilliant. I've made it myself. Not so good. Not something I'd pick off a menu usually. Um, I find it's, uh, it's a bit weird. Chocolate is my complete favourite thing to eat in the world. Avocados are probably my second favourite thing to eat. Win-win, then! Right, I'm going to bung everything in and keep my bejeweled fingers crossed. So almond milk is bunged in with avocado, maple syrup and cocoa powder. Right, let's get this really chocolatey. Yeah, you wouldn't want it avocado-y. Let's get this doucher on. I haven't heard it called that before. Come on, you blooming avocado! That's it, you tell them. Right, let's give this a go. Is it nice? That tastes of avocado. That'll be the four avocados you put in it. More cocoa powder, that should help. Any better? That tastes of banana now. Banana? You might be surprised, but I've never made this before. No! I think she knows what she's doing. Um, I don't think there'll be any slop tonight. Um, <clears throat> the slop, sorry, moose, goes into set. Now for the coolie. Black breeze! I can't believe it! <laughs> yes, Josie, it's true. And they're being stewed with sugar. Just waiting now for the final ingredient. There is nothing like vanilla straight from the pod. That's not a good face. Let's hope it tastes a bit nicer in my dish. <laughs> Four of us have done coolies this week, so it'll be a bit of a coolie off there, I think. If there's a coolie competition, that'd win it. One more course to go. Sarah drizzles and bodges. Final course of the week. It's going to be a good one. Fingers crossed. Avocado and chocolate mousse with shop-bought vegan ice cream. Do you think it tastes of banana, anyone? Cos I do. Yes, a little bit. I do, yeah. Mmm. Yeah. Did you use any bananas in your recipe? No, none. I do like banana, but not when the recipe says avocado and chocolate. So Lovely. Yeah, that's really nice. Oh, my really God, nice. that's so nice. I didn't like the dessert. Uh, I could taste the avocado. The chocolate tasted a little bit artificial. There's something not quite right with the, the, the mixture there. The coolie is, is delicious, and I'm plopping all that on, on the ice cream. With put a flop, chat turns to thoughts on the week. My impression of you is that you were probably someone who wouldn't understand me and be uh, maybe a little bit critical of my um, outrageousness because I can't rein it in. I didn't know quite what to make of you. And then when it came to Wednesday, I was like, oh, my God, this makes sense. She's, like, literally amazing. Well, just, that's just really sweet. <laughs> That's just really sweet, thank you. It's just been just a really great week and emotional because it's been just a fantastic week. You're and all... you've exposed yourself to us. Thank yeah. you for that. Um, you get arrested for that. <laughs> <laughs> now then, who's taking home the cash? I think my pudding let me down, so I think my chances of winning are quite remote. I really thought Sarah was the one to beat. I'm not so sure anymore. I think my chances are good. I'm definitely going to get ranked somewhere in this competition. I'm still probably near the front. Um, I certainly won't be last. You've got more chance of seeing a nun in a bar than you have of me winning tonight. Sarah needs 34 points to beat Rod. Good luck. We had lots of laughter, a lot of love, but unfortunately, a weak dessert let it down, so I'm going to give Sarah a seven. I'm giving Sarah an eight. Great evening, but sadly she was let down by a bit of a dodgy dessert. I'm giving Sarah an eight. I'm giving Sarah... Hold it right there, Josie. It's up to Sarah to reveal this week's winner. Yeah! Yeah! Ooh. Fifth place. Paula. Yeah! Yay! And in fourth place, it's... Hassan! Woo! Joint second. Oh! Josie and Sarah. Josie scored Sarah seven, meaning she finishes with a total of 30. Yay! Which means, Rod, you've won! Wow! This has been 
been a <laughs> lifelong ambition. I didn't even care about winning, I'll be honest, because I have met four amazing people. I've had an amazing week. I have... This could take a while. I'll pop out. ...who I am and what I can be to people. And I can cook. Sounds like he's still going. I've just made four new friends and I didn't come into it looking for that. But honestly, it has been the best week. Thank you. Hope he's nearly finished. Your lovely score and your lovely messages and your and your your feedback. I honestly, you you've given me something that I'll never ever ever lose. Thank you. I really mean that. Thank you. I think it might be over. I've had a brilliant week and I've met some great people. Great week, great friends. Would be happy to do it next week. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. 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 Joint second. I feel like a winner. Yay. Yay. It's been absolutely incredible meeting four amazing new people that will hopefully be in my life for a very long time. <laughs> this has been one of the best weeks of my life. Yay. I won.